What's up, what's up guys? It's your boy Kev back at it with another video for my adopted internet younger siblings. I'm sorry, I should have made this video a month ago. It really escaped my mind. Didn't really think about it until our boy Chuck Lamb let me know that I should make a video about interviews. And actually, as it turns out, I do do interview prep. I also have a lot of thoughts about what makes a great interview, so really excited to share them for free with you guys all today. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that people will ask, your interviewer will ask, is tell me about yourself. And then I would say the next really common question is why this school? And then finally, what role do you play in a friend group? They'll ask some kind of social question like that. And then the very, very ending, the most important part is actually, hey, do you have questions for me? And that's a really great opportunity to end with a solid impression. So I'll be breaking down each of these questions and then give you guys a few more tips. Okay, so first off, tell me about yourself. I would recommend you guys talk for at least two minutes. You could, you could honestly talk for three, four, even five minutes, and you'd be surprised how this question actually acts as a launch pad for the admissions people, whether that's an alumni or someone from the admissions committee, to ask follow-up questions. So naturally, you will talk a little bit about who you are, where you grew up, maybe a bit about your high school, as well as extracurriculars that you're involved in, and it would be great to mention things that you just do for the pure fun of it, for the pure joy of it. Don't shy away from your quirky hobbies, guys. If you're like super duper into yo-yos, you got 50, 60 yo-yos, you're subscribed to 20 yo-yo YouTube channels, and you practice tricks on the side, like showcase that. It's really cool if you're able to combine it with another dimension of your profile, of your academic interest, something like that. If you're like, oh yeah, I'm really into physics and engineering, and in fact, I've created my own yo-yo, or I like combining these two things together. Which really leads me to my next point, and this is probably one of the most important aspects of the interview, storytelling. And let me tell you exactly how to do this. So. I use something called a lead, which basically says, let's, let's say with a tell me about yourself question, you say, look, I'm really interested in languages. I've done this, I've done that. And then you end with this last activity and you're like, actually I started like a language online learning program for underprivileged youth in Southeastern United States. Kind of just leave that out there. Naturally, the admissions officer will be like, ooh, interesting, please tell me more about that. And then this is your opportunity to share a story. These stories, just like your essays, will revolve around five really major points. These are intellectual curiosity, a sense of selflessness and service, persistence and determination, personal growth, and intellectual curiosity. You don't need to hit all of these notes, but if your story can at least talk a little bit about, you know, you started this language online learning program, you spent like 50 hours developing it, sent it out into the world, and then crickets, <laughs> nobody signed up. Then you talk a little bit about how you overcame this challenge, how you networked, reached out to people, your passion for learning languages, uh, how you motivated middle schoolers to get interested in learning French online or Spanish online or Mandarin online. You wanna be able to really hit those notes together. And so, you know, these days, all these interviews are online. So what I would recommend you guys do is really script out your lead story. And it's great to have two stories. It's also great to write out your tell me about yourself answer <laughs> so you know exactly what you're gonna say. And I would would practice rehearsing it in front of a camera. I would practice recording yourself. Remember guys, more than 50% of communication is nonverbal, right? Hand motions, manipulating speed, intonation, pitch, facial expressions, <laughs> smiling, eyebrows. I know a lot about this because I've been studying it for years, but it's great. Even if you guys just have a week or two to prepare, I would highly recommend you guys record yourself, see what you look like, what you sound like on camera, practice doing interviews. I would say at least do two or three, even better if you can do 10 or 20, even better if you can do 30 or 40. There's really a big difference between someone who's done 30 interviews and someone who's done three, trust me. Okay, so we've covered leads. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, the next one is why this school? Super duper straightforward. I would recommend, just like your essays, having a social or cultural element and then a more academic element as well. And really the name of the game here, guys, is proper now. So you wanna be like, ah, yes. Princeton just created these brand spanking new dorms, XYZ dorm, the dining hall, the name of XYZ facility, and also I'm really interested in research with this professor, this major, this fellowship, this program. So if you're able to do your homework, again, like this is all online, so you can literally just write it down on your notes app, bring it up during your virtual interview. That's really powerful. And same thing here, I mean, you could again use a lead to tell us why you're so interested in Yale, Harvard, Princeton, Williams, UT Austin, whatever, right? If you can say, I have an older cousin who went there, I, I toured 
the campus years ago. I did a summer program. I'll never forget XYZ moments when this professor invited me to lunch or something along those lines. Incorporating a human element is also really, really powerful. What's next? What's next? Oh yes. What role do you play in a friend group? What, what role do you play in your community? Again, guys, then here you're gonna wanna focus on specifics. Specifics, specifics, specifics. Rather than just saying like, I am a kind and loyal friend, I value honesty. It would be so much more powerful to talk about how you specifically show your warmth and your kindness. Let's say your friend got in a terrible car accident and they were stuck in the hospital for a few days. You know, not only did you show up with a thank you card and the balloons, classic get well soon, but you created like study guides and share them with your friend. Or you created like videos with everyone in the community to kind of cheer them up. So those are the things where immediately I can be like, wow, this person really goes above and beyond, not just for, for their extracurriculars, but also for their friends, for the people who are dear to them, right? Something so simple as that would tell me way more about your personality than just being like, I am loyal, I am friendly, I care about my friends. Finally, at the end of the interview, your interviewer will ask, do you have any questions for me? Never say no, just dip, <laughs> that's horrible. I'll give you guys some examples of questions that I would ask. So it's really great to prime the interviewer. It's like a little psychological trick that you can put them in a good mood by literally asking, hey Kev, you know, what was your most favorite, your most treasured memory at Yale? And uh, Kevin will lean back in his chair, reflect on the good old days, crack a smile, and then share what I enjoy. And then naturally that can segue to the other side of the coin, which would be, you know, what was your least favorite experience? What would you change about Yale? What do you think Yale needs to work on in the next five, 10, 15 years? Then you can also ask more specifically about interests you might have if you want to know more about a specific program hey like i've done research and i've heard like this program offers abc does it offer def they might not know the specifics of the program but it, it, that's another way to show that like you guys have done your homework so that's also very nice the last thing i will mention is to always send a thank you note guys so simple and yet so many people don't do it now there's two reasons we would do this first of all it will literally hurt you and it just is not proper etiquette people can get rubbed the wrong way depending on especially how old the alumni is if they're more old-fashioned it, it is very the decent the most decent thing to do please send a thank you note immediately after the interview is done and then the second reason is because you can also attach a copy of your resume i know that some admissions officers will have your whole entire file to look at before the interview even begins. It varies school to school. But anyways, I would attach a copy of your resume and that way your interviewer can reference your resume and take a look and be like, ah, yes, I remember Kevin was really interested in, you know, these extracurriculars. Take a look at like what he's actually done here. And then that way the interviewer, I mean, they write a form as soon as they finish interviewing you. So this helps them fill that out. Yeah. In sum, take it easy, record yourself, give yourself a little bit of practice. If you guys want, me to practice interviewing with you. I'm more than happy to do that. You can schedule a time to chat with the bit.ly slash botherkevin20 link. As you guys know, I am constantly rooting for your success. Watching you guys succeed is literally the best present you can give me. I'm so excited to see where you guys end up in April. A lot of people have been saying it's gonna be more competitive. Don't worry guys, don't worry about what the other people are doing. Just worry about what you can do, what you can control, all right? You guys got this. I'll catch you at the next one. Let me know what other videos I can make for you. More than happy to endow my wisdom, whatever limited experience I may have with you all. All right, take it easy. Catch you at the next one. Pa -pa 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 Peace.